water can run out too. It is hard to imagine our planet without these landscapes. Green and blue are the colors of nature. They are the hues that water itself creates. This essential resource has always been so plentiful and consequently so undervalued. But the behavior of millions of domestic consumers and businesses is characterized by poor management and wastefulness. Water can run out anywhere in the world that is the inevitable impact of unsustainable use, made worse still by climate change. Water shortages are on the rise in Europe. At least 17% of the land area of the European Union and 11% of its population have been affected by the problem. The year 2003 illustrates this, one of the most intense drought years ever 100 million people and a third of the EU territory were affected. Damages to the European economy reached 8.7 billion euros. During the last 30 years in the EU, droughts have increased dramatically in both number and intensity. The total cost in damages over this period has reached 100 billion euros, four times greater than the previous period. Droughts and water shortages have impacts on natural resources. They can reduce biodiversity, reduction in water quality, heightened risk of forest fires, soil depletion, are the consequences of these two severe problems. The absence of a strategy to combat and minimize droughts and water shortages, together with worsening climate change, make future prospects look alarming. This is a problem that needs resolving right now. It is a global challenge. There has to be a European political commitment to sustainable development and social cohesion. There is an urgent need to introduce the concepts of frugality, efficiency and storage of this vital resource in all sectors of activity. It is imperative to reduce the pressure of demand now to secure future access. Because good quality and abundant water supplies are fundamental requisites for high quality of life and economic development. This is not a problem of North versus South, or of rich or poor, or of developed or developing countries. This problem exists at a global scale. Nobody can afford to ignore it. European Union countries and their citizens have made significant advances in adopting sustainable energy use policies. Expanding this collective will to water management is not to be delayed. International organizations and developed countries must concentrate political will and financial resources in the resolution of this global crisis brought on by drought and water shortages. They must dedicate themselves to good management of water and aquatic ecosystems. We have to change the scenery. We still have time if we act now. Keep the planet blue, it's in our hands. <laughs>